Okay. And similarly to for off loop, we also have for in loop, which is nifty if we want to iterate over object properties. So let's say I have person object with these keys and values. And if we want to iterate over the syntax is following where we go with four, then let's set up the variable in my case, I'm going to go the long way and I'll say property name. And then we go with in. So four in, and then whatever the object in my case, person, and then if we want to access the key, we simply go here with property name. And then if we want to get the value, the syntax is going to be person, so the object and then the square brackets. And in order to showcase that, let me go here with log, and I'll use the template string, since I think it's going to be a little bit easier. And we want to go here with property name, property name, so that will get me the key. And then if I want to have value, let me set up the colon here, again, interpolation, and like I said, person, square brackets, and then the same deal. So in my case, since the variable name, is property name, I'll have to use that one as well. And then once we save, check it out. And here I have name, so John, age equals 25, and all of that cool stuff. Now it is not advised to use for in on arrays. So if you want to iterate over arrays, either use the array methods that you have, or for off loop instead.